Cool, peach tree right on the side of this trail. I see people just put a boat in here and just start paddling all along this little river. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that looks like fun. Just, just float around all day. I think I'll miss doing this every day the most. I didn't want to scrape the door frame, so yeah, that's underwear. Just hanging there. So here's a couple of things I'm gonna bring with me on my travels to make sure I, I can still work out. So I got some of these bands and this was gonna help me do uh, push-ups and then work on my chest because I really like this bar that hangs over the door. Obviously I can't bring that. I got this. I haven't tried this out yet. This is the multi-gym. So this is like two separate of these Hanley dealies. So this is pretty compact. I'm gonna bring this a little more heavier than I would have liked, but this is something you can do push-ups with, pull-ups with. Not sponsored, I have no idea how well this works. I'm gonna go try this when I get to New York, but I'll let you guys know if this works or not. Just finished my workout session, one of two. I usually will do a bike ride, um, weight training in the morning, then I'll go for a run at night and do some abs. So in between, I'm gonna eat. Yeah, let's go eat some burgers. I don't know if you guys feel this way or not, but about once a month or so, I need a fast food day. A day of just going to random fast food burger joints and stuffing it in my mouth until I'm filled with processed meat and cheese and self-disgust. Today will be one of those days. So excited. Oh. It's like a holiday for me. Let's go to Five Guys Burger. There's a Five Guys Burger right there. And then there's a Dairy Queen here. Oh, have I ever had a I don't think I've ever had a Dairy Queen burger before. Oh my God, I feel so naughty. I'll just do a regular hamburger. Can I get grilled onions, pickles, grilled mushrooms, hot sauce? And I think that's good. Thanks, dude. I mean, that was like a one minute walk. The amount of grease that's already soaked through this bag is it's terrifying. Probably the best thing to do is just rip this bag open. Oh, that's a lot of fries. They give you a lot of fries. There's at least like two cups of fries in here. So they put the fries in the cup and they also just dump it in the bag. I like them for that. I've had five guys before, but not in, I think, maybe close to 10 years. I completely forgot what this thing tastes like. I mean, look at that. That is just a gorgeous amount of fries. And I forgot ketchup. Lisa's seasoned. I think I remember they used to give out peanuts or something. Mmm. That's a good fry. Wow. I don't fries delicious. Don't really even need ketchup. Mmm. That is so good. Burger, kind of small for like a $9 burger. And this is a regular burger. They actually have a small burger. So I'm assuming the small burger is just one patty. This is the regular burger with two patty. And what's kind of cool about this place is you can order as many toppings as you want, but that may also kind of be a curse. So this burger, I got two patties, grilled onions, grilled mushrooms, some pickles, ketchup, and hot sauce. Hang on a second. First approach, it's a good quality beef patty. You don't taste any of that Ronald McDonald fake clown beef burger nonsense here. This, you can tell, good quality beef patty. Now, is it tasty? I think it's extremely, extremely mediocre. Mainly because the patties aren't seasoned well. I taste more of the ketchup and, and hot sauce than I do the actual beef patty, which, that's a problem. I mean, if you walked away from Castaway thinking you watched a Wilson movie, something's not right there. That patty's okay. Texture is good, it's a little dry. Flavor-wise, not the best. And comparing this, like just from memory to all the other slightly higher quality burger chains like In-N-Out or Shake Shack and Whataburger, this is definitely the worst. No, I mean, I should say, it's not bad. I just, I just expected more from you. Now I sound like my Asian parents. Why don't you learn from your cousin In-N-Out? I don't think I've had Dairy Queen since I was like eight or 12 or some ridiculous long time ago, but it's packed. It's like 3 p.m. Did Dairy Queen all of a sudden become awesome? Did I, did I miss this trend? I mean, look at this. <laughs> like, it's like 
10 cars in front of me. There's like a bunch of cars behind me. All here to patronize the queen of dairy. Whoa, they got a burger called the flamethrower? I think I need the flamethrower. I guess here in Dairy Queen, you gotta get a blizzard. Do they still have blizzards? A flamethrower burger, just a burger? Okay, uh, the half pound or the quarter pound? The half pound. Okay, just the burger you said? Yeah, can I also get a blizzard? Yeah, for sure. Drumstick. Well, oh, that sounds good. What if I eat this burger? It soon turns out to be awesome. I can't even fathom that scenario right now. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Perfect. This is a small blizzard. This is pretty big. I think I remember they used to they used to turn it upside down or something to make sure it doesn't doesn't flow out. That's like a blizzard test. That's so good. I'll hail the queen. Mm. As I'm eating this, I can literally feel the life force draining from my body. So this is like one of those drumstick ice cream that they basically crumpled up and stuffed in here. It's so good. It's so good. Is it weird when you're eating something um, as horrible to your body as this blizzard and you're staring at the beautiful Gal Gadot, like one of the most perfectly fit, gorgeous human beings on this planet, just stuffing my face with a sugary treat? I'm sorry, Miss Godot. I'm not strong like you are. Oh god, this is so good. I'm literally eating this and trying to calculate how many years of my life am I losing by eating a cup of this. Probably quite a few. This is a giant burger. Way bigger than that five guys thing. So this is a half a pound flamethrower. Giant with what looks like French dressing, tomatoes, lettuce, strips of bacon, two beef patties, cheese in between the patties. All right, patties look kind of dry though. It does kind of look like a flamethrower with the bacon and tomatoes and the, and the dressing all sticking out. So this thing is basically about a thousand calories. I'll be honest with you guys, for a fast food burger, like a McDonald's-esque burger, you know, that tier of burgers, this is not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not great, but it's not bad. Sauce that I thought was French dressing, actually hot sauce. Burger tastes like, you know, you know, like the Burger King patties. This is why I love Burger King the most. It does taste like it came from a grill. I mean, the patty's a little dry, but that's to be expected. Best thing here is the bacon. Thin little slice of bacon. Super crispy. I mean, overall, it's got good beefy flavor. It's spicy, it's cheesy, got the nice crunch from the bacon. I mean, 100%, it's a life-sucking leech of a burger, but is it yummy? Yes, it is. Not as yummy as that blizzard though. That, that was the best thing I had in like a decade. God, I want to go back and get another one right now. No wonder people were waiting in line. I don't think anyone ever got a burger or a hot dog, whatever they were selling. God, that blizzard though. I'll pledge my allegiance any day to the queen of dairy for that. All right, let's, let's, let's go for one more. I passed a Red Robin on my way here. I've never had a Red Robin burger before in my life. I go running around here a lot, so I passed it. Just never, let's go try it out. Most popular bacon cheeseburger. 12 bucks, oh, that's a $12, oh geez. Steamed broccoli, who wants steamed broccoli with their burger? Garlic fries, pepper jack. The pickle nickel. And the bacon cheeseburger with garlic fries. That is pretty darn good. Crispy out of shell, snappy piece of fried pickles. I love the garlic fresh. And it's so garlicky. And you can actually see the pieces of garlic on here. So this ain't just like garlic powder or whatever. Oh, that is good. The star of the show. Popular bacon cheeseburger. First glance, it doesn't look all that juicy. Should have got like a pineapple volcanic ghostbuster burger like one of those crazy ones on their menu oh something's hard Man, it's just a patty it's like cardboard I'm gonna feel bad for calling five guys tasteless when this thing exists in the world really bland patty it looks juicy but it's kind of hard, like, especially on the outside. Many parts of it is actually really dry. I'm loving the fries and the little fried pickles way more than I'm enjoying this. 
if I actually sat down, I mean, went through all the trouble of like driving to a restaurant, sitting down, going through all the ordering process just to be fed this, I would have rather gone to Dairy Queen. I mean, it's edible, but just like the plot to pretty much every single M. Night Shyamalan movie besides The Sixth Sense, really tough to swallow. So far today, the best burger I had came from Dairy Queen. Words I thought I would never utter. Also, I was just thinking, you know how I mentioned like the Dairy Queen burger? Got that kind of similar flame broil taste as Burger King. Now, do you think Burger King and Dairy Queen maybe, you know, see each other a little bit? Revealing not just burger secrets to each other? Something like that. She probably got him with one of her blizzards. I feel like what I just put my taste buds through, I, I need to reward it with something. And this is the noodle place I was I was at before, and they, they have like this hot pot dish that is their specialty. I haven't tried it yet. It's called malt hai. It's spicy, nummy, flavorful. That needs to touch my tongue right now. These guys are so nice and the food is amazing. I can't wait to go home and try this. I was gonna do another edition of eating on the hood or car cuisine, meals on wheels, something like that. But they told me there's a lot of soup in there. So they're like, you probably can't get it on the hood of your car. We'll just take it home and we'll have a little uh, Netflix and chill time. Probably won't be a lot of chilling cause uh, a lot of chilies in there. Can't be chilling with that much chilies. <clears throat> there's some unfinished business I have today. I have three burgers today. None of them I really, really love. None of them I was like, oh my God, that's such a good burger. So I feel like my, my, my life, at least today, is sort of incomplete, even though I have some great food back there. I need to find a good burger place. And I know exactly where I wanna go. This is a great place for burgers. This burger place, haven't been back since I moved here. It's amazing burgers, Hawaiian. <laughs> That's a good recovery. I didn't trip. Oh, yay. I love this place already. What was I doing messing around with like Dairy Queen burger? Ah, I never done that. Never had put a blizzard in my mouth. I had that whole life altering experience. Miso burger. Miso excited to eat this. Oh yeah. Like as soon as I open this, you could tell this is a different type of burger. I mean, this is, it's hefty. It's got a unique bun. Look at that. Pork belly on top of the freaking burger. And this, you can see that glisten on the beef that was lacking from the previous three burgers that you know, watch this. Yeah. You see the juice coming out of the beef? from the appearance to, to the to the volume, to the fluffiness. In general, the aura of this burger is different than the last three we had today. You know that scene from Crocodile Dundee where he's like, that's not a knife, this is a knife. Or, you know, an actual Australian accent. This is a burger. Mm. You guys hear that? You don't hear it? That's the sound of angels singing up in food heaven. Mm. Look at that juice inside that patty mixed with the juice from the pork belly. So you get a great beefy flavor with just a blast of melty pork fat. There's the first juicy burger I had all day. Look at, look at this thing drip. Look. They should call this the Seattle burger because it's constantly raining. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't rain here, so maybe they shouldn't call it that. This is how our burger day should end. Ooh, this whole thing is making my entire apartment smell great. Hmm. Rice, pot one, pot two, the bigger pot. So this is Malsa, like I said, it's pretty much a little hot pot, but here it got chilies, all oh, raw garlic, slices of beef, wood ear, lotus, tofu skin, spam, of course, gnocchi mushrooms. Oh yeah, it's the same thing, except this one, there's fatty beef in here, which I freaking love. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, there's so much garlic in here. My heart is pounding so hard for this right now. Very deep soup base. Chuck bowl of chilies and garlic. Perfect solution when you can't go out for a hot pot. Oh, it is spicy. You guys gotta be careful. I worry about some of you. Broth is good, ingredients good. I mean, I ate a lot today, but one bite of dish, I just wanna keep going. All right, mm, about 7 p.m. Okay. 
sun's going down earlier now, so gotta go get my second workout in. I'm gonna eat up and let's go. All right, look, I, I swear I was gonna go work out and I still might, but this is the best time of the day to be out on the balcony. Plus, I just found a snooker, snooker, snicker doodle cookie, snicker, snicker doodle. I bought this today and I didn't have a chance to eat it. So instead of workout time, this is snickerdoodle cookie eating time. Mm. Seriously, sitting on a balcony at the end of every day, this is my favorite time of the day. You know what else I love about Seattle? I no mosquitoes. I know. No matter how hot it is in the daytime, it just gets so nice and comfortable right around now. No humidity. Just sit here, think about life a little bit. Eat a big cookie. This is nice.